Even small concentrations of iodine are strongly discoloring. Hydrochloric acid is strongly corrosive. Chlorine gas is highly toxic as well as corrosive. Use gloves, safety glasses and handle your chemicals with awareness. To make iodine you will need an oxidizing agent, hydrochloric acid and an iodide salt. For the oxidizing agent you can use both liquid or solid cleaning agents. The only criteria is that they must contain some sort of oxygen based bleach. As for the solids it's usually a percarbonate salt and for the liquids it's either potassium or sodium hypochlorite. Check the ingredients on the back of your container to be sure. Start off by adding your hydrochloric acid to a beaker. Then add your iodide salt and stir until it dissolves completely. If it doesn't dissolve completely, gently heat your mixture or add some hot water like I did. Then set it aside and continue with the next step. I'm going to start with a solid cleaning agent, but if you have access to a liquid one, use that one instead. While in theory they should both work the same, in practice the liquid ones work much better for me. To extract the percarbonate from the cleaning agent, add it to a beaker and then dissolve what you can in some lukewarm water. Then set up for a simple gravity filtration. After the filtration is completed, go back to the hydrochloric acid iodide solution and slowly add your percarbonate solution to it. Immediately after the addition, the solution is going to take on a red color. Furthermore, a foam will arise which mainly consists of CO2, but it might also contain oxygen as well as chlorine gas, so work in a well-ventilated area and be prepared to take a step back. When the addition is completed, filter off the precipitate iodine and wash your product a few times with water. Then scrape off the iodine from the filter paper and put it somewhere safe to dry. Now to the liquid cleaning agents, which were much better for me. Start by preparing a hydrochloric acid iodide solution, similar to the first one. Add hot water or heat your mixture until all of the salt is in solution. Next, slowly add the bleach to the solution. Don't go too fast or your solution is going to heat up and the iodine will start to evaporate. Like with the solid cleaning agents, be prepared to encounter chlorine gas formation. When the addition is completed, you should see solid iodine at the walls and bottom of your beaker. Filter it off and wash your product a few times with cold water before putting it somewhere to dry and then store it. At the end of the day, no video about iodine is completed without preparing at least some nitrogen triiodide. Start with a solution of aqueous ammonia and add a little bit of iodine to it. Let it stand for about 10 minutes and then filter it off and wash your product with ethanol. Doing all these steps, make sure your product never gets close to being dry. Place the filter paper somewhere safe and from then on keep some distance to it.